Hey, this is John here. Uh, we're going to install this uh, Dunlop flush mount strap lock strap retainer system. Uh, I'm going to install just this flush mount um, female button here into this Dingwall Combustion NG2. And in order to do this job, uh, we need a 764 inch drill bit drilling a hole that's an inch and a quarter deep and uh, that's going to be accomplished using this collar to make sure that we don't go past inch and a quarter. Um, that drills the pilot hole and the hole for the screw. Um, and then I'm going to try either this uh, 3 8 inch brad point drill bit or perhaps this 3 8 inch Forstner bit to drill the hole for the body. Um, and then uh, then it says to lubricate the tip of the screw um, using a small amount of wax or soap from a, soap, a bar of soap and then use a number two uh, Phillips screwdriver to screw in. So I have marked the center line of the neck with a pencil here on this blue tape and drawn a straight line down to the center line of the body and then um, from the what I'm calling the uh, from this ruler essentially um, <clears throat> measured in a point uh, two and seven eighths inch two and seven eighths of an inch uh, from the edge of the body here if the body were not curved in um, to the to the spot where I'm going to drill and actually. Um, <clears throat> From the center line, I need to go up um, a half an inch off of the next center line. So, in other words, if the ne next center line would be right here at the top of the uh, top edge of the paper, and the point where we're drilling is here, a half inch north of that, uh, heading toward the battery cover. So, um, I'll pause the video and do some drilling and uh, restart to finish the job. Okay, I've used a center punch to uh, mark the spot here where we're going to drill. As I said, here's the center line of the neck and so this is a half an inch away from that. And we now have the hole inch and a quarter deep, 764ths. Now I've got the 3 8 inch hole started. I started out with the brad point bit, but it didn't seem like it was a very good quality bit, so um, I've switched to this Forstner bit, which is working nicely. And here, to not uh, scratch up the finish with the collar, I have a collar for the 3 8 inch bit, but it'll scratch the finish when it hits it, so instead I'm using some electrical tape to mark off the half inch depth, half, half inch depth for this hole. And the hole is complete. We have a nice, beautiful uh, 3 8 inch hole, half inch deep. 
and the button just drops right in the hole easily and I'm gonna put some uh, some Ken Smith classic wax polish on this screw and we're gonna screw it in and we'll be done okay it's all finished we'll do a little operation check here and uh, nice and tight I and mean, this thing does of course wiggle a little bit the uh, the male part but the sleeve itself is rock solid and very secure and uh, nice professional looking job let's give it a try